So let's focus on Italy now, the worst hit country outside China. It's turning to new measures in its hospitals to try and save lives. David Scher is a 3D printing journalist and industry analyst in Milan, and he joins me now. David, thanks for being on the briefing. Just tell us why you believe 3D pre printing is a game changer in this crisis. Well, uh, hello, hello, thank you for having me. Um, well, in general, um, 3D printing is, is, is uh, the, main, the main advantage of 3D printing at all levels is to kind of uh, step in when the supply chains are broken. So when, when things cannot get from one place to another, you can print them on location. So that's generally what one of the biggest advantages of 3D printing. And obviously, in this kind of emergency that we're going through, it, it, can, uh, it, can, it can become more... David, we're hoping we are hoping to be able to hear you. <laughs> you froze for a moment there. Oh, I'm sorry. You, That's all right. You, Have you? Don't you hear me? No, we can. It's just you froze for a few seconds. So we're going to persevere oh, okay. and hope that the, the line remains intact because we really want to hear what you have to say. So just explain again why 3D printing is so important. For example, hospitals in the future could print the ventilators that they desperately need. Is that what we're looking at? Absolutely. I mean, I hope uh, I, I made my point before. The, the idea, the benefit of 3D printing is that it can step in when the supply chains are broken. So when things cannot get from one place to another. What happened recently in a hospital was that there was a, a, a key component for a respirator um, that, was, that, was, uh, that was broken and the company could not produce more. So in this case, they were able to reproduce the piece and, and then do some tests and then actually use it on patients to save, uh, to save their lives. So it's a really vital innovation in a sense, and the 3D printing, you just need the, the correct blueprints for the, for the item that you want to replicate. That's the essential fact, isn't it? Yeah, so exactly. What, I mean, what happened in this case was that um, the, the, the part had run out and the company could not supply more. Um, so uh, a team of, um, of, of engineers and doctors, they, they worked together and they redesigned the part uh, and then they, they, they basically just brought a 3D printer to the, to the hospital to, to test it, to, to, to print the part and test it. And then they, at this point, um, a more industrial level 3D printer was used to produce parts that would actually, you know, be in stronger materials and they could actually hold and, and work better. But yes, that's... Uh, that's and and, and uh, Dave, David, just tell um, us what life and, uh, is like in Milan. Can you make something that you need? All right. Just tell us as well. What, yeah, is, what is it like in Milan right now? Well, it's it's uh, my, a lot of friends of mine. I mean, my, my my company actually works. We have a team all over the world, and I, I've been speaking with a lot of people. And I, I don't think it's easy to realize uh, from the outside. Uh, I mean, the, and honestly, I'm a very optimistic person usually, but the situation in Milan in, in the Milan area became very dramatic very quickly. Um, and it was kind of it became once it became obvious that this was not a flu, um, you know, there was really there was really reason to worry, and, and and really the health system is holding up, but it's really 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 under stress. I can imagine. Uh, well, David, we appreciate your time, and uh, yes, keep in touch with us as uh, we do continue the journey through this coronavirus outbreak. Thank you for being on the briefing.